What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the uh, to the shop here. Um, got kind of a weird one for you today. Um, this board has not wanted to get built at all. Uh, have had uh, nothing but issues uh, to the point where I had to take a board I was working on uh, and scrap it. So that one is, is no good. Um, and have done a new one, which I'm in the process of doing right now. Um, and the, while this was gluing up last night, I wanted to start working on the video, uh, have things going in tandem here and found out I'm missing a good chunk of video. So that's why I'm re-recording this intro. Um, from what I can tell on the video that I'm missing, uh, basically what I am, what I'm short on is I took a large slab of maple uh, cut two strips three and a half inches three and a half inches wide um, 60 inches long and then did the same thing with the sapeel um, and uh, uh, saw those up to size uh, and then milled them down to final thickness I wanted each one of these at one inch a piece um, from that point on it looks like I do have footage um, so um, I'm gonna kind of Tarantino this thing. Uh, you saw kind of a preview of where we're gonna work to. So uh, I'm gonna do this intro uh, and then kind of take you through how I got to where I'm at right now with this board. Um, it's kind of a goofy video. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it um, other than just not uh, putting this video out, which uh, I don't wanna do. This is a skill I'm working on with the woodworking, the video shooting. Um, and the video editing. So the more I do it, the more uh, the more practice I get. So I am gonna put this out. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope it's educational somehow. Um, what I do wanna do real quick as well is kind of talk through what led me to having to redo all of this. Um, with the first board that I did, this one, um, I cut everything down to uh, exactly uh, three inches uh, on the table saw. And then when I did the glue up, uh, the sapeel had moved, so there was a bow in it. Uh, wasn't able to get that straightened out. Um, and it just caused issues after issues. And kept um, I kept putting the burden of getting those issues cleaned up further down the road, further down the road, further down the road. And every time I was introducing more errors and it showed up in the board, there's lots of gaps in there. Uh, lots of inconsistencies in there, which I didn't like. Um, it was an expensive uh, learning lesson or expensive lesson. Um, I did learn from it. Um, looking at this board now, when I was doing the glue up yesterday, um, everything came out real clean. So I'm real happy with, with that. It was it was worth the lesson. Again, it was an expensive lesson, but it is what it is. So um, I, I'm hoping through the video footage that I do have that I'm able to uh, show you where I had made some of those mistakes and where I compensated for it. So um, I'm gonna get back at it. Thanks again for coming along for this video. I hope you're able to get something out of it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Um, like always, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video or don't like it. Uh, comments, I try to respond to every comment that shows up on these videos. And, uh, and then always uh, hit that subscribe button below. Thanks. Okay, so the quick dry up here, it, beautiful. Um, the only thing I have to do now is get the uh, clamps to come in just to squeeze all of the, the wood together. Uh, my concern was was getting all of this straight because you saw the two maple boards were straight, uh, but the Sapelli had a, a little bit of a bow in it. Um, using these clamps uh, straightened it all out, so I'm real happy with, uh, with where this is at. Um, so I'm gonna take it all apart glue it up and do it all over again. So, um, I, I can't be happier. Uh, I should have done this the first time I tried doing this board. I didn't, again, an expensive mistake, but uh, that's part of this process, especially for someone new uh, into this craft. So, um, I'm happy I learned it. Not happy how I did it, but it is what it is. So, uh, everything's coming out nice, real happy with how this looks. So, um, I'm gonna unclamp everything, glue it up, uh, take it inside and call it a night and uh, get back at this tomorrow.
Okay, first off, I want to say, I hope you know that I'm amazing. That's what the sticker says. My little girl gave me that. She wanted to make sure I knew that. Okay, so that's literally every clamp I have minus four. Um, I didn't do the four because, uh, well, I say minus three and a half because one of them, uh, as I was tightening it, it kept moving, so it's a broken F clamp. Um, and then the other two are just way too big. This orange one I have here is too big as well, but I don't have another choice, so I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, but it's a lot more, uh, a lot longer than I wanted for this, but. It all looks good. It looks like infinitely better than the last time I did this. So I'm super happy with how this looks right now. Um, I'm gonna go take it inside and just shut it down for the night. That's all I can do. Back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, let the uh, boards uh, glue up and dry up uh, overnight. Uh, the goal for today is to, uh, first one is uh, obviously get everything out of clamps, but two is to get everything square. Um, I'm real happy with the width on this right now. Um, I'm just at three inches there, which I'm good with. Um, but it's this dimension here, this I'll call this the vertical dimension here that's over. Um, I did that on purpose. Um, so next step then will be clamps. Uh, I'm gonna do the table saw just to uh, remove a good bulk of that material. Um, and then the final dimensioning steps to get it down so everything is square will be done on the planer. Um, from the planer, I will then go to the miter saw. Um, I'm thinking about doing an inch and three quarters, uh, maybe a little bit less. I, my final dimension I want to be is at an inch and a half uh, thickness. Um, so I'm going to cut more than that, knowing that I'm going to be able to mill it down to final dimension. Um, and that'll be it. It'll be a uh, miter saw to cut the individual components, um, inspect everything, make sure everything lines up uh, smoothly. If this first step with the planer and table saw works out well, um, the miter saw is just basically an afterthought and the glue up should be really smooth. Um, I should have really nice straight lines, um, which is the issue I had with the last board. I had lots of gaps in there because I was introducing angles that didn't need to be in there. Um, but um, everything should be good to go. Um, I'm real happy with the way it looks right now on first inspection here. There's no uh, gaps in the wood. Um, I got this to be as flat as I can get it. Um, and uh, it should should be smooth from here on out. Uh, I don't want to say too much of that, but um, compared to how everything was going last time, this should be a lot better. So stick with me and uh, I'll keep you going along in the process.
know how well that comes across, but now I've got one really nice clean side that I'm really happy with. Um, and I can use that now as the bottom as I run it through the planer. So um, just wanted to kiss it off, uh, which is what happened. Uh, and now the next steps here is get down to final dimension to make sure everything is square. So uh, I'm gonna put a scribe line on here so I know what my, my final mark is that I wanna shoot for. Um, and then work down to that, that's all I can do. Okay, so you can see the line here. I'm hoping it comes across here well here. That's how much material I have to remove to get down to square. And even that line is oversized just purely because of the thickness of the pencil. So uh, I'm gonna come down to that line and then I'm gonna try to sneak up on the final dimension. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Spot on, super happy right now. Okay, so you should have just seen me cut everything um, on the miter saw. Um, I stopped short on purpose. Um, I have more than enough of these blocks um, for what I'm looking to do today. Um, I hopefully can use that again in the future and or I could come back if I need to uh, make up for one of these blocks. Um, and I also do have five additional that I did cut five more blocks than I need to even build with. So I think I have enough to uh, cover me for what I'm looking to do. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of the uh, initial pattern, what it looks like. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a simple glue up. I'm gonna do it inside though. Uh, no need to show you that. I'm gonna get a bunch of clamps, squeeze it all together, let the glue come out. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys the first kind of preview here and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the initial pattern. Uh, just first blush impressions here. Uh, the gaps are a lot tighter than when it was the last time I did this. Uh, but you can see I still have some, I'll call them fuzzies or burrs on here. Um, so what I'll do is just take a piece of sandpaper um, with my hand and uh, rub it off. Something simple like that. And it should make my seams a lot cleaner. So. 
Uh, first impression, super happy. Again, like I said, I'm gonna take this inside, I'm gonna glue it up, and then I'll show you guys the results afterwards. Okay, so off screen, um, I took a uh, belt sander to the plywood. Uh, I wanted to try to level it as best I could to the top surface here. Um, I didn't want to give the planer something to grab onto and just rip off. I want to have it try to be a nice seamless transition here. Um, the bond is wood glue to the wood. Um, so it should be strong. It should be able to go through the, uh, the planer no problem. And again, the thought here is I want to reduce any potential blowout that can happen here. Um, and if there is any blowout here, maybe it's minimal and it's enough that I could take a route or two, round those edges over with and you wouldn't know the difference. Uh, so I'm going to run this through the planer. It's going to be skip planed because I don't have anything level to put underneath it. Uh, so the second I see this, uh, all of this even out, uh, I'm then going to take it, flip it to the other side, do it on the other side. shot uh, it literally did what I thought it was gonna do it ripped the plywood right off the only other thing I could think of trying to do is uh, I'm gonna pull the router out and go with a heavy chamfer uh, around this back edge over and hope that that helps I'm hoping that uh, the easy round over uh, will give it kind of this slight taper off and it won't have nearly as much to grab onto on the way through right I'm grasping at straws right now One of the best things about sanding, other than it taking a million years, is it really shows the grain and what this is going to look like at the end of the day. And I'm I'm loving it. Um, I'm really happy with how this is this is looking, how this is coming out. Uh, we got wood grain going all different directions. Uh, it just is super appealing to me. Uh, the uh, the lines between pieces are real tight. So this side that I'm, I just finished up, this is 100% going to be my top side of this board. Um, let me show you this here, just kind of give you a preview here. And that wood grain just kind of get in this random swirl effect. Just, uh, it looks so good to me. I'm super happy with this. 